There once was a poor widow who had only one child, a son. He was a kind-hearted boy, always willing to help in any way he could. Theirs was not an easy life, but the boy rarely complained. As long as he and his mother had each other, the boy didn't mind that his clothes were ragged and that he had only a few toys. The boy had been secretly wishing for something, though. He had always wanted a drum. One day, when his mother was going to the village to sell some of the food from her garden, she asked, Is there anything you may want for the market? <coughs> I've only wanted a drum, but I know we cannot afford one. The, the boy was right. His mother knew she would never be able to buy a drum. The food they grew and harvested to sell usually only gave her enough rupees to buy a few things she and her son could not grow or make themselves. The poor woman thought of her son all the way home from the market, saddened that she was not able to get him the one thing he really wanted. She was walking. She saw a piece of wood lying by the side of the road and bent down to pick it up. It was hard to find at first, but she dug around. <laughs> and there it was! I know this is not much, but maybe you can find something to eat. Thank you. The boy didn't know what to do with the wood when his mother gave it to him, but he thanked her and carried it with him when he went out to play. Down the road, the boy could see an old man kneeling beside a fire pit. The man was trying to light the dry cow down he used for fuel, but the fire wasn't catching, and great bills of smoke hung all around him. His eyes were watering, and the boy asked him, Why are you crying? I can't get this fire started. Here, try this. Thank you. It, in no time at all, the old man was able to get the fire going. He, do you want to keep he, he, thanked, he thanked the boy and gave him a beautiful round flat bread that Here, the old man had Here, have cooked. some chapati. Thank you. The boy took the bread and walked on until he met a woman who was the wife of the village metalsmith. She held a small child in her arms, but the child was crying and could not be quieted. Why is your baby crying? I'm very poor and I do not have enough money to buy food for my baby. Here. The boy. The boy looked at the chapati he had held in his hand. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way of thanks, the grateful mother gave the boy a large pot. Here, my gratitude is this pot. <laughs> the boy hadn't gone far when he came to the river, where he found a man and woman arguing. Oh, cry, oh, it was an accident! You were not a cook and not a fly! Wrong! It slipped from my hands! Um, what's the trouble? My wife blown this pot off the cliff because she thought it could fly! I now. told you it slipped! <laughs> Here, now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I'm a washerman and I like to not wash clothes. Here, have this. Thank you. Thank you. This will work well. Have this Here. coat. It's an honor of thanks. After he saved the marriage, the boy continued to walk <laughs> until he heard a, a large splash of water. The boy is stunned to see a man emerging from the water with barely enough clothes to cover him, and certainly not enough to keep him warm. His hair was also wet and he was shivering. Why, why do you have barely any clothes and why are you dripping wet? I was on my way to visit relatives where Robert galloped by on, the, on, that, on that horse and demanded to have my fine clothes. Then he pushed me into the river and ran away. Here, have this jacket. Ha, 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 ha.